what is going on guys, my name is Blaze Killing. Today we are back with another video. In today's video, I will be talking about all of the game passes that Lumber Tycoon 2 does have. A, a, a commenter on a recent video uh, mentioned or asked me a question about a game pass and I was uh, uncertain at first of what to, how to respond. And then I researched uh, this specific game pass that this person was referring to. Uh, and uh, came upon a couple, or rather three, game passes that this game has. I was unaware of these until now. I don't play on the PC version of this game, so that's probably a contributing factor in how I don't really see this page that most of you guys do see when you search up Lumber Tycoon. But in any case, this game has three game passes. I'll be talking about those three and just a couple more things. Um, but I hope you do enjoy. I hope you learn something new. So game passes were actually introduced um, to this game fairly recently in January 5th of 2020. And they allow uh, players to gain access to certain things within the game without the use of in-game currency, but rather actual real money, I suppose, because um, these require gate, uh, uh, Robux. These game passes require Robux. Uh, so the first one I'll be talking about is uh, this one here. Where am I here? Store. There we are. Uh, the Super Blueprints. Um, this one, I'll click on it and talk about it a little bit. This came out also on January 5th when uh, most of this came out. I think one of them actually came out a day later. But in any case, this costs uh, 720 Robux, as you can see. And it allows the player to have easy building on all of their land plots on that specific account, that which this was bought on. Um, it, it changes the visual aspect of the blueprint. Book. So when you know you have the typical blueprint book, and now it's this color, it's not blue, it's 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 the gold color, and also when you open it up, the UI for the uh, the blueprints will also appear a gold color as well. Your plot will also change color from the ground, uh, from the sorry brown ground like color to the like a brownish green color. I'll try to find a picture I can post on the screen uh, to to demonstrate that to show that. Uh, but without this super blueprint, you could also buy. Uh, easy building in game by means of talking to the strange man in the uh, lost cave and spending uh, $10,009,000 to purchase this feature. So you can either buy it using in-game currency or uh, external currency, like whatever money uh, you're dealing with through Robux. So that's the super blueprints uh, uh, game pass. And you can also see the ratings on all of these. This one has the best rating out of all of the game passes. Uh, just a little fun fact in the, the, the description. Tired of all the effort of building super blueprints will uh, let you find any blueprint instantly with only one tiny unit of wood. That's, a, that's an interesting, uh, an important point I forgot to mention. Uh, a one by one by one cubic unit of wood. Uh, it will allow you to fill any blueprint. That's what easy building is really in essence. It allows you to fill any size blueprint, any blueprint that requires um, more than one by one unit, one by one by one unit of wood. It allows you to fill that blueprint whatever the requirements are with just a single unit, cubic unit of wood. And that's sufficient to fill the blueprint with whatever wood you're filling it with. That's a good clarification point. The next one is called Super Bridge. This one is significantly cheaper for a good reason. I mean, this is a kind of a, a game breaking blueprint, if you will. Um, this one's significantly cheaper. For 220 Robux, you can buy Super Bridge. Bring the bridge down for free every time for double the amount of time. Yep. Uh, this one also has good, I mean, they all have good ratings. I just wanted to point that out earlier. Uh, again, this costs 220 Robux. It allows the player to lower the bridge free of charge. However, the player will, the player will still need to uh, pay money. You'll still need to pay money to uh, keep it down uh, for more than just that initial amount. Uh, so if you wanted to lower it one time, then it would be free. But every time after that, if you're trying to lower it for any significant amount of time, then it's going to cost you that normal amount. Uh, additionally, you are still able to use the preserved uh, ostrich eye. That is the um, the eye that you would normally use to get to the phantom wood, uh, despite not having to pay for the bridge. So you don't have to pay to get the end times wood, but you still have to have the ostrich eye, obviously. And this is the quest question that uh, the that commenter mentioned, like, do I still have to pay um, the bridge? And I, I answered, no, you don't have to pay for the bridge. Uh, you just you, you still need the ostrich eye, though, to hold up to the to the um, the bridge person to get the phantom wood. But you don't have to pay the money. Uh, additionally, upon uh, interacting with Saranok or, or Merely, uh, which are the two bridge keepers, uh, they get, when the game pass has been bought, they will respond to you by saying, hello, super sir or super madam, or hello, super sir or madam, sorry. Let me just lower this bridge for you. And then they will promptly lower the bridge immediately. So they will refer to you with, with greater respect, I suppose, once you buy this um, game pass. That's the super bridge. It's pretty simple. I mean, 
pretty easy, easy to think of that one. But these are you know added relatively recently. I'm, just, I'm sure it's a good way to make uh, default TOS some money and a good way to e make your game experience uh, easier. Uh, next one is Super Hoove. This is a Game Pass for 390 Robux, as you can see. And uh, don't tell anyone, but maybe Hoove won't notice you haven't bought a ferry ticket. You can you see already what this one does. It allows you to travel for free on the ferry. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is the Super Bridge. It says this was uh, updated January 6th. Maybe it was added the same day as the other two on the January 5th, but I guess maybe there's some updates on that later. I just, that's why I mentioned that at the beginning of the video that these were all added on the same day except for that one, but maybe they were all on the same day. Uh, once again, it, this allows the player to ride the ferry free of charge, so upon acting, uh, interacting with Hoover, uh, he will also mention you, uh, speak with you uh, with greater respect, just like the bridge keepers do. And uh, he will say, well, you are a super who, so you don't need a ticket, dot, 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 and with the sideways face um, uh, emoji, emoticon thing. And it'll allow the player to ride the freight uh, very free of charge without having to pay the normal 400 uh, in-game currency fee. So, pretty simple. This one also has decent ratings. A little bit more expensive than the bridge one, but in any case, uh, very useful things uh, to have. So I'll try to supplement you all with, with pictures of necessary things on your screens. So it's interesting. You default to added these relatively recently, around three years ago now. Um, and it's a good way to make him money, good way to make the game easier for other people. Uh, it's not pay to win, but it's starting to get there. I don't know what your opinions are on it. Uh, let me know in the comments below. So now we have a couple things you can buy uh, in-game. You can buy your own private servers for 220 Robux. You can buy uh, in-game currency, in-game money uh, through the, the use of Robux as well. And you can also purchase three uh, these game passes. I'm wondering if more game passes will be added in the future. Probably not, but you never know. I'm not sure what features Default 2 will add in the future that might um, be good uh, places to, to incorporate game passes in. I'm not sure. Let me know if there are any other game passes that should be added to this game. What your p opinions are on these, if these are too overpowered. Specifically, this one is where I kind of lean to overpower, uh, lean towards being overpowered or not. Um, but in any case, if you wanted to purchase all of these game passes, they would take around, I think you would have to purchase the $20 uh, Robux uh, package to actually have enough Robux, although you know you, you would still have excess Robux, but the, the the ten dollar one would not be sufficient to pay for all of these. So if you wanted to buy all of them, you have to buy the twenty dollar Robux. Um, just a little fun fact there. Yeah, what are your opinions on these? And what do you guys think about these? Too overpowered? Not too overpowered? Uh, have you do you guys even have any of these to begin with? And did you guys even know about these to begin with? I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope you guys did learn something new from this video. If you did, drop a like. Nice short video for you guys. Hope you guys have uh, have had a nice week, and we'll have a nice week. And I will see you guys in the next upload. Stay tuned for that one. It's going to be a good one. Peace out.